Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, known affectionately as Jackie, was one of the most beloved and iconic first ladies in American history. After the tragic assassination of her husband, President John F. Kennedy, in 1963 and the death of her second husband, Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis, in 1975, Jackie found love again with Morris Templesman, a Belgian-born diamond merchant and philanthropist. Jackie and Maurice had known each other since the 1950s when he arranged a meeting between then-Senator Kennedy and representatives of the South African diamond industry. However, their relationship did not turn romantic until many years later, in the early 1980s, after Jackie returned to New York City following Onassis's death. Unlike Jackie's previous high-profile marriages, her relationship with Maurice was much more low-key and private. Templesman, who was separated but still legally married to his wife Lily, avoided the spotlight and respected Jackie's desire to stay out of the public eye as much as possible. The couple were frequently seen taking walks together in Central Park and attending intimate dinner parties, but rarely made public appearances. Their relationship lasted 12 years until Jackie's death from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1994. In her final months battling cancer, Morris was a devoted companion who rarely left Jackie's side. He was spotted accompanying her on walks in Central Park, just days before she passed away. When Jackie returned home from the hospital to spend her final days in her Fifth Avenue apartment, Morris was one of the few close friends and family members by her bedside. At Jackie's funeral, Maurice read a poem by C.P. Cavafy, titled Ithaca, and added his own poignant words. And now the journey is over, too short, alas, too short. It was filled with adventure and wisdom, laughter and love, gallantry and grace. So, farewell, farewell. His love and grief were palpable. Born in Belgium in 1929 to an Orthodox Jewish family, Maurice emigrated to the U.S. as a child to escape the Nazis. He joined his father's diamond brokerage business as a teenager and went on to become chairman of Lazar Kaplan International, one of the world's largest diamond companies. Well known and respected in the diamond industry, Maurice was intensely private about his personal life. Friends described him as charming, intelligent, cultured, and down to earth. He was also very philanthropic supporting causes like African economic development, and serving on the board of the American Jewish Congress. Maurice reportedly had a good relationship with Jackie's children Caroline and John Jr. However, there were rumors of some tension with the Kennedy family after Jackie's death, when Maurice was named executor of her will. Some speculated that Caroline was not happy about Maurice's ongoing presence, as he continued to vacation at Jackie's estate in Martha's Vineyard and acted as a co-trustee of her estate. However, those close to the family said, Maurice was simply trying to carry out Jackie's wishes, to the best of his abilities. In the late 1990s, Maurice found himself embroiled in controversy, when the Italian government accused him of purchasing ancient Greek and Roman artifacts that had been illegally excavated and exported from Italy. The objects in question, which included two marble heads, were part of a statue of Demeter and Persephone dating back to 500 BC. Maurice had purchased the artifacts in 1980 for $1 million from a London dealer. While the Italians did not believe Maurice was aware of their illicit origins, they sought to have the objects returned. Maurice rebuffed their request, leading to a legal dispute. Around the same time, declassified government documents revealed that Maurice had been named in State Department memos and cables related to diamond interests in Africa from the 1950s to 1990s. Some alleged he had played a role in various African conflicts and power struggles, though no direct evidence of wrongdoing by Maurice himself emerged. Despite the controversies that surfaced late in Maurice's life, those close to him and Jackie said their relationship was a source of deep love, comfort, and companionship for both. For Jackie, who had endured so much tragedy and lived her life in the spotlight, Maurice represented stability, loyalty, and a chance to find happiness again on her own terms. Attorney Samuel Pizar, a friend of Maurice and Jackie, put it best. With Maurice, everything slowed down. She was at peace with him. Even in her final days, Jackie's bond with Maurice remained strong. According to one account, she invited him to her apartment to participate in a ritual in which she burned old letters from loved ones after reading them aloud. She asked Maurice to keep one photo from her wedding day to President Kennedy. While their relationship was not widely known to the public at the time, it has gained recognition in recent years as a touching example of finding love and solace in the aftermath of great loss. In many ways, the story of Jackie and Maurice's 12-year romance encapsulates her incredible strength, grace, and resilience in the face of adversity. In Maurice Templesman, it seems she found a true partner to stand by her side until the very end.